Hi guys, uh, this is a smart physics problem and this one is the block on inclined plane. Alright. This force is acting with an angle on this mass and they give us the force, they give us the angle, they give us the mass, they give us the distance. This D is the from here to here, this is the D. Okay. So the first question is asking um, how much work is done by the force on the box? Let's call this WF. And the force, if you look at it here, it's just force times distance. But the force here should be like this. This is the force we're looking at. Okay. So if you if you kind of like extend this force to here, you can see that this angle is the same as this angle here. Okay. So we're gonna add the cosine of theta. Okay. So if you plug in one eighty times the fifteen times the cosine of 32 you should get 2252.4 or some equivalent number maybe 89 or something anyway this is Newton it accepts anything alright so number two is asking how much work is done on the box by the gravitational force during this same displacement okay so the if you let's draw this again here All right, so here's the box and here's the gravity okay and here's this angle here so we need the um, this actually should be in the center so we need to find the this part of the mg. This is mg. This is going down. So we need to find this part of the mg vector here. This part. And this angle is the 90 minus theta. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so the work by the gravity will be force times distance. Same. So the force of the gravity will be mg, and then we'll do the cosine of 90 minus theta, right, times the d. All right, uh, for this answer I got, and it's going to be a negative because the force is in the opposite way of the of how the box is moving. So the box is moving this way. And the gravity, the force of the gravity is pointing this point, this in this direction. So it's got to be negative. So I got 701 for this one. All right, for the last, for the third one, it's asking how much work is done by the normal force of the slope on the box during this displacement. So the normal force is is affecting this way and if you look at it so the force of the work of the normal force will be um, force times D okay force of the normal force but the normal force here is perpendicular to it so if you do the cosine of 90 degrees it will be zero okay so this work total work is zero so number four is asking, um, how fast is the box moving after this displacement? Okay. All right. So we have the work done after this displacement by the box, and we have the opposite force that's affecting in the other way. So if we minus them from each other, the work by the force minus 
the work by the gravity or if we add them because this this is already negative okay equal the kinetic energy final which is half mv squared and this will be this will be like 2289.4 minus 701 and then just multiply the 2 by this value that you'll get here and divide it by the m the mass and take the square root of it I'm not really sure of um, here's the sorry this is the one you're gonna see okay it's not square now right, I'm not sure of this value just plug in your numbers and have your numbers here and then just minus the value here minus this or add this because this is already negative as I just said and put it equal to the half mv squared cool alright I hope this helped and good luck